Hello and welcome to day 16 of Hackvent Calendar. Today we bring you The Dying Sun by Gary L. Blackwood. This novel was first published by Athena Books on January the 1st, 1989 of which this is a first edition of that book. As you can tell by the artwork, it's a young adult book. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful artwork, isn't it? I'll just show you the back. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, <clears throat> the ISBN number in case you would like to have a copy for yourself. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, when this was first published, it was $13.95. <clears throat> I actually paid uh, $25. Sorry. $20, sorry, and $25 for the postage. So it's uh, creeping up in value, I, su I would say. Any road. <clears throat> Let's get into the nitty gritty <coughs> of this book. Excuse me, whilst I drink a cup of tea. Mm. I have this terrible cold and it will not leave me alone. So, this novel uh, won the Best Young Adult Novel of 1990 by Friends of American Writers and it was also nominated for the Vermont Golden Dome Book Award in 1991. This novel is a dystopian future of an impending ice age. It's set in the mid 21st century and the book starts with the sun slowly dying and the earth cooling. This causes mass migration from the USA to Mexico. With the large influx of people from the north to the south this causes an overpopulation problem and quite a lot of violence ensues within the book. Even for a young adult book there is an awful lot of violence within. <clears throat> there are two friends in this novel. One is called James and one is called Robert. They both decide to escape the south and head north. They are going to join James's parents who have become disillusioned by the south and the growing crime have decided to relocate north to Missouri. In Missouri life is primitive there winter rules everything and the shortages of basic supplies is just normal everyday living but James but before James and Robert leave Mexico the Mexican Liberation Army attack the settlement where James and Robert are living because they're at school in Mexico. <sighs> it's, it gets quite violent quite quickly. And after the army have attacked, Robert is terribly wounded and James says it's time to leave. When James leaves on his northbound odyssey, it's really, really rough and really dangerous, ensuing more violence. 
What he finds when he reunites with his family absolutely stuns him and makes him realise that there must always be change in life and difficult choices must be made. But throughout the entire story, the underlying theme of it all is love and family and at the end of the day that's all you have left when everything goes very wrong the family is always there for you and the love is always there for you and that's what James finds when he finally reunites with his family. <clears throat> I'll open up. It's, it's absolutely in mint condition. Here we are. Oh, focus. There we go. And here we are. And part one, fire, and the first page for you. It is a really lovely book. I love it. I read it as a child and as a, an adult and a mother of two, I recommended this to my youngest child and she has yet to read it. But I hope she reads it one day because it's, it's quite a beautiful book. Even though it's violent, even though parts of it are scary, it's beautifully written and it's a beautiful tale of love and family and survival. I hope you give this novel a try. I know you won't regret it. And as I always say, happy reading, darlings, and enjoy.